Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. We are supposed to find the number of ways one can pay 10 rupees using the denominations 1 rupee, 2 rupee, and 5 rupees. Let's take the first possibility where we use only one type of coin. So we can take 10 1 rupees or 5 2 rupees or 2 5 rupees. Next, let's consider taking two types of coins. The first possibility where we take the 1 rupee coin and 2 rupee coins. The second possibility where we take 1 rupee coin and 5 rupee coin. The third possibility where we take 2 rupee coin and 5 rupee coin. So let's say first we take 1 2 rupee coin. So the remaining 8 rupees can be paid by 1 rupee. The next case where we take 2 2 rupee coins, that will be 4. So the remaining 6 rupees can be paid with 1 rupee alone. The next case where we take 3 2 rupee coins, that will be 6. So the remaining 4 rupees can be paid with 1 rupee coins. And the last case where we take 4 2 rupee coins, that will give us 8. And the remaining 2 rupees can be paid with 1 rupee coins. Moving on to the next case where we take 5 rupees and 1 rupee coins alone. So let's take one 5 rupee coin alone. So the remaining 5 rupees can be paid with 1 rupee coins. The last possibility is taking 2 rupees and 5 rupees. Now if you take one 5 rupees from the 5 rupee coin, the remaining 5 rupees cannot be paid with 2 rupees alone. Since we know that 2 is an even number, so it's not possible to pay 5 rupees with 2 rupee coins. Lastly, we can consider a case where we take all the three types of coins. Taking one 5 rupee coin, one 2 rupee coin, we get a remaining of 3 that can be filled with 1 rupee coins. The next case where we take 1 5 rupee coin, 2 2 rupee coins, the remaining will be 1 rupee that can be filled with 1 rupee coin. Now calculating the total number of ways, we have 3 ways here, 1 2 3 4 5 ways here and 2 ways here. So in a total we get 3 plus 5 plus 2 that is 10 ways. Therefore option C is the right answer.